guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're on the FHG account. That is right, guys. It has been probably, I think it said 47 days since we have been over on the FHG account. We have 66,000 diamonds. But looking here, guys, there is a hero's return. There's a lot of stuff when you come back to AFK Arena. So if you are a returning player, guys, you can see there's a ton. There's a noble union, and I want to run through this because I just hopped over to go ahead and collect those 50 time emblems that we had. Even though I'm not playing the account right now, I do kind of keep them up some, somewhat. So I wanted to check it out, guys. The Noble Union. So this gives you access to, you can see 10, 20, 30 of our scrolls. We also do have some diamonds up here, as well as a chest right here. And there are also returnee rewards. So you can see on the monthly card, exclusive rewards, reward upgrades, um, depending on the VIP level that you're returning back to AFK Arena, you can actually get a lot of additional bonuses, um, which is kind of crazy as a returning player. And then again, as a VIP player, there are bonuses on top of bonuses, which is kind of crazy to see. And I'm not sure exactly what's in this final chest, um, but Relief Forces, this is gonna give me the ability. Brave Hero returning to Esprit as a, not, a small matter of force. Um, with your Resonating Crystal, your Relief Forces shall become stronger. That is right. So I can go in here and I believe I can hire heroes um, and it'll build them up. And it looks like we're pretty limited to the heroes that we have in here. So even let's throw Alna in there. You'll be unable to change your choice until the list is refreshed. Do you want to invite Alna? Sure, I'll go ahead and invite Alna. There we go, guys. And then, of course, this one unlocks in a couple more. Or if I uh, purchase the deluxe monthly card, that is going to allow me access to this. But again, these heroes, I'm not too happy with the hero lineup, but that is okay, guys. And then looking here at Alna, I'm wondering 321 or above. Oh, this is what builds Alna out to what she has, guys. So if you're a returning player 321 and above, it's gonna give you this build out right here. If I was a little bit higher, I wonder if it would build them up a little bit higher with these release force, our relief forces in there. Now the return, returning rewards, again, this is what we looked at. I wanna go and see exactly what each one of these are about and see what they're giving us for free. Now they did give us, of course, the hero's return right here. You can go ahead and invite some friends. You know what, let's just go through and we'll invite some people here. I don't even know if my wish list, or maybe it's people that are unactive or inactive at this point, which is kind of weird, um, but discounted on the, the monthly card right there to come back. The union reorder, this is gonna give me again some resources. You can see, oh, this is one of the things in here. So courage badge is gonna yield me, look at that guys, celestial and hypogen chess. Um, I wonder if Liberta is in here and if it doesn't look like the two new ones in there are in here. Damia's in here though. And then it also does give you value badges. So you can get awakened heroes in here too, guys, which is kind of crazy. Again, I wanted to see when this popped up, when I just hopped in this account, I wanted to see exactly what it is. And it looks like this might be because of my VIP level, VIP 13. So they're giving us four faction scrolls or faction chest in here, guys. Even Ivan, the most recent hero, we get some Stargazer cards in there. And then of course, join a guild. There we go, we're in a guild. Oh, this is gonna give me over the couple next couple weeks. Looks like we're gonna get bonuses in here to get additional loot. Now the Courage Badge, I'm assuming that is something we have to buy, guys. So the Courage Badge is 9.99, which gives us the free Celestial or Hypogen. Um, the Valiance Badge is 24.99, which of course is gonna give us um, access to the Awakened Heroes in here. And let me see, so it is it is the new Awakened Heroes, guys. We have Sophia in here. We don't have Leica in here, though. So they have not updated this to see what Leica is in here. Then, of course, the Misty Valley. It looks like they're going to give us more points out of here or give us some free rewards out of here for um, additional, additional rewards, guys, for doing the Misty Valley in here. The Oak Inn, the exact same. Looks like if we get some furniture in there, they're going to give us additional, again, they're gonna give us additional rewards for coming back. And then the Dismal Maze, it looks like it's gonna do the exact same. You can go through the Dismal Maze and it looks like defeat the boss. I'm gonna give us some more rewards. So overall, pretty packed in here. Honestly, when you look at this, guys, it is relatively stacked um, with the heroes return packages that they're gonna do in here. And then of course, the popular heroes. Um, this is 
if I'm coming back to AFK Arena over some time, you can see guys, Belinda is still the number one within pretty much everything. Um, 81%, 98%, 93%. And then of course the formations that they run in the best, best partner ever is Palmer in there guys. And again, running multiple um, heroes. Now let's turn off the Awaken. Palmer, Oden, and Scarlet. So again, that, that's pretty interesting to see. Um, but let's hop over in the Oaken. Invite, it looks like, don't show again. There we go. So invite a hero to the Oaken. Uh, place one item on Mythic Furniture. Place two items. Place three items of Mythic Furniture in a hero's room. I wonder if you can kind of game this to, to removing heroes stuff. That That's kind of what, what I wonder. So if we go in here, guys, we gather up everything. We just auto place it all. There we go. So now she has all of her resources right there. Let's see if that is going to count for the Oak in which it does not. So inviting a hero, I'm assuming, is when we first invite a hero in there and then placing the mythic furniture in a hero's room. Again, it looks like those are going to have to be new summons. We have 152,000 on here, guys. That's kind of insane to see, but we'll go ahead. We'll summon up one or two of these. There's one, there's two. We'll get one more piece of mythic furniture because I think it said mythic furniture. The one, two, three, there we go. There's number three. Again, there's a piece for Nevi. Shows you when I stopped playing this game, guys. Even looking in here, let's optimize everything that we have. So looking at our wish list, um, we had Orin in here. So I think Orin was the last one that we put in here. Uh, Matria is already kind of built in here. Again, Matria we did build, but you can see a lot of heroes in here do need a significant amount of gear. Now, with that being said, um, looking over here, we do have Rem and Amelia. So on all of my accounts, guys, I did pick up Rem and Amelia on the accounts. You can see we have not done anything with them at this point, but we did collect them out. Now, of course, here we went in here and we picked up all of our resources in there. Now, we also do have the Voyage of Wonder that we can do. And then Friends List just literally blew up the moment um, that I came back. So did the Hero Bundles or Borrowing of the Heroes. As soon as I hopped on this account after, again, it's been probably 45, 50 days, um, everything literally popped up and then all of the players popped up to borrow all the heroes that we've just kind of been sitting on at this point. So very cool, guys. Again, if you're a player that is coming back to AFK Arena, um, they give you quite a bit of resources. And I wanted to look at a few other ones like right here, guys. Returning player benefits, get a bonus attempt to get a hero off of your choice for every 30 days you've been offline. So up to three days. Um, the first 10 summons are free. They're giving us free summons right there and enjoy a 50% discount when drawing heroes before you get the first hero choice. Again, they're literally just giving me a free hero summon choice, which is awesome. That is really, really cool to see. Um, let's see. So it is 50% discount, I think, until I get my first hero. Again, coming back, they're giving us some, some pretty good... Um, Resources on there. So there is Ivan since we return and then it goes back to full price summons. That is right, guys. So pretty cool with the summons right there. Um, I don't think there's any free ones. And look at how many resources we have in here, guys. 25 cards, 63,000 diamonds. Still running 234 emblems in here. And I believe Matria we already built out, which we did. We were building out Matria. So we have a couple on here, guys. We have a few different Awakened Heroes that we've kind of built um, throughout time, we have Brutus right there that's built. We have Solus that is completely maxed out. Um, definitely have some solid, solid summons in here for these Awakened Heroes. So pretty cool to see. And again, with the Heroes Return, um, that is pretty nice. I, I mean, honestly, it, it's pretty cool to see um, that they're offering, you know, a pretty good incentive for players to come back to AFK Arena. And I wonder if there's going to be anything else Look at the resources, guys. We've we've racked up a lot of resources playing this. So I came in here. Um, I've been buying out my cards, of course, just because, again, one day back on this account. But really, really cool to see. And again, I'm pretty impressed with the, the returning, the hero's return on how much they actually have in here. But guys, that'll do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.